New details are emerging about that catastrophic Baltimore bridge collapse. This video offers a new vantage point to the cargo ship approaching the bridge early Tuesday morning. Yesterday, federal investigators went on the vessel to collect evidence and speak with crew members in an attempt to understand the cause. Officials have also started to identify the six victims and families they left behind. Divers discovered the bodies of two victims from the water, 26-year-old Dorlian Castillo Cabrera and 34-year-old Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes. Chris Van Cleve has more. Chanel, the NTSB investigation is really in its early stages. This is something that can take 12 to 24 months before they are prepared to provide a probable cause for this accident. Teams were on board the cargo ship Dolly yesterday. Uh, the board chair described the damage as extensive, the scene as massive. She said she found herself looking out across the mangled mess on the deck of that ship, looking at where the bridge used to be and thinking about the families of the six people, the lives lost in this accident and the people recovering the survivors. Now, they have a lot of questions. They do have the vessel audio and data recorder. That is a far more rudimentary system than what we're used to in aviation with a black box. The black box on an airplane records a thousand pieces of data. These re record far fewer. So they have some information. They will have more as they pour through it. Uh, they are also going through the engine room looking for other devices that may have recorded information. Things like uh, video cameras or uh, any sort of event recorder that's in the engine room that may give them some sense as to why the ship lost power the way it did. They're also going to pour over any video uh, of the incident uh, from outside. We know there's at least one camera that captured the whole thing. That will be helpful to investigators as well. But at this point, uh, there aren't a lot of clear answers. There are people that are being praised. The Mayday call from that ship gave police about two minutes to stop traffic on that bridge, cut it off to uh, eliminate the possibility that additional people would drive on as that ship was on a collision course. The Secretary of Transportation yesterday saying that action and the fact that this happened overnight likely kept this from being a far more tragic event. The investigation has a long way to go. There are a lot of questions we just don't have answers for yet, Chanel. Chris, thank you.